Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to share a quick tip on how to save and export patterns from Illustrator. I have two tutorials on how to create patterns from scratch like you see on screen within Illustrator. I'll leave links to both of those right below this video description in case you want to learn how to do that first and then move on to saving and exporting. So once you already have your patterns, there's a couple of things to keep in mind because Illustrator behaves a bit differently than Photoshop. With Photoshop, you would export a PAT file and then you can just double click and install it on any version of Photoshop and then you have those patterns that you can access. With Illustrator, it depends on what version the user is on of Illustrator with whether or not they can access your exported patterns. So I want to share my recommendation for Illustrator users that might be on an older version versus how to save and export. Like if you're on Creative Cloud like I am right here, how you would export and save those for another Creative Cloud user. So we're going to start with that first and then I'll show you how to save and export for an older version of Illustrator and then you'll be all set. So here is our pattern. You can see it's over here in our swatches palette right here. So the first thing you want to do is just clean up your swatches palette because there's a lot of swatches in here by default and you really don't need all of them. So the way you clean up your swatch palette is you're just going to toggle down the extra options over here. You're going to select all unused and then you just want to drag them to the trash. And there will be a few left over, like I have my colors right here that I use, so I can just click on the folder and then I can drag those to the trash. I'm going to deselect my pattern for a second, select the white and the black, and just move those to the trash as well. Okay, so now all I have is the pattern right here in my swatches palette. So we're going to export this pattern by coming back up here to our extra options. You're going to toggle down, you're going to save swatch library as AI. So just click on that and then toggle where you'd like to save it. And we're just gonna call this um, arrow pattern and just hit save. And now if I create a brand new document, file new, and all I have to do is come over here to my swatches, toggle this down, open swatch library, other library, and then navigate to where you saved your pattern arrow pattern open and it'll open in its own palette and you can either leave it like this or you can just drag it into your swatches palette and it'll be in your swatches palette again right there and you can close this and now you can just draw a rectangle if you'd like let me get rid of the outline on this and just draw out your rectangle come to your swatches and then just click on your pattern swatch and there's your pattern and if you'd like to change the scale of your pattern as it appears in your rectangle you can change it by just right clicking on it transform scale and when this pops up just make sure your preview is checked right here and make sure transform objects is unchecked so the only thing that's checked down here is transform patterns and you want to make sure uniform is checked up here and this is where you can toggle it and you can see what it looks like at different scales. If I want to make it really tiny, I can do 25% and then just hit OK and you're good to go. OK, so that works if you are on a version of Illustrator that's current. If you're selling your patterns and you'd like to make them accessible to users that might be on an older version of Illustrator, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what you want to do in this part is really easy. You're just going to draw out a rectangle and you've got your swatch right here. You're going to copy this rectangle. You're going to create a brand new document, file new. It doesn't matter what size the document is. And you're just going to paste that in. And when you paste it in, it automatically adds it to your swatches right here. And you can clean up your swatches once again by just selecting all unused and you can drag them all to the trash so it's nice and clean right here for your users if you'd like and then you just want to save this as a regular illustrator file so i would just go file save as and i would just call this arrow pattern file and save that. And then when the screen pops up, you just want to make sure that you change the version right here. So right now, this version of my Illustrator file will only work perfectly with Illustrator Creative Cloud. So I usually toggle down and I, I typically go down to CS3. That accommodates the majority of users these days. So I'll select CS3 and that makes it accessible to any user of Illustrator CS3 or newer. So I'll just click on that and hit OK. 
and hit OK. And then when I'm selling my patterns, I would just include an info file that just explains if you're on an older version of Adobe Illustrator, make sure you open this file instead of this file, and then you'll see it in your swatch palette. So that's my quick tip on how to save and export Illustrator files no matter what version your user is on of Illustrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my website every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And once again, those two tutorials on how to create Create seamless patterns in Adobe Illustrator are right in the video description, so just click there to have access to them. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.